And then the dynamite kid thing that was, uh, that was that was in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and happened in the in the lunchroom. And I was down with Jimmy Hart, and we were doing interviews. And somebody says, "You ain't gonna believe it, Jacques Rougeau just he just knocked dynamite kid's teeth out." What? And we got up to the lunchroom; it all been settled down. They had them separated. Uh, so I missed that one, and I missed the one where Dynamite Kid had punched Jock in the jaw and broke his jaw six, eight weeks before that. Jock was playing cards, him and his brother with a couple of guys, Dino Bravo and some more people, I think, at the, at a table in the Miami locker room. And Dynamite Kid just came in. Jock's got a handful of cards, <laughs> pasted him right in the jaw. Would you say uh, Dynamite Kid was a bit of a bully in those days? Yeah, he was. He 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 pushed his weight around, and uh, he pulled a lot of bad ribs on people. He was always nice to me and always treated me well until toward the end where he said he slapped me around the locker room, made me cry. Well, I'm glad Diana Hart, or one of the Hart's, did a book and said, you can't believe a word Dynamite Kid says. Everything he said in his, everything he says was a lie. So that at least that never happened. Jimmy Hart was there and he and was... At that point, you would have been fairly high up on the card. Um, uh, yeah. On good terms with Hogan. Yeah. So if he had done something right. like that, right. he would have been... Well, I, I even saw him like the next... After that, and I saw him the next day and he's walking along and I said, I, I met him face to face and I said, are we okay? Is there any is there any more problems with us? He and, said no. He said just no. Just to be clear, uh, according to Dynamite Kid's book, he claimed that you had, you had said something about Harley Race where you actually have tremendous respect for Harley Race. Did you, right. in fact? Was it just a... a that, was, that was never, ever... Where he heard that, I do not know. But Bobby Heenan made a joke about that. Guys laughed about it. I guess maybe he heard me laugh about it and about Harley wearing the pouch on his back, on his side, and you couldn't give him the, the, the rear end bump because the pouch might break. And that was it. Harley, I respect him as one of the nicest, sweetest guys in the world, and I would never have said anything bad about this man. And I, I even told Harley myself, I said, I don't care what – and I know he was very close to Dynamite Kid, but Dynamite Kid was going through enormous pain. At that point in time in his career, his back was going out. He had numbness in his leg. Harley took care of him, drove him to the airport, did all sorts of stuff. Cause, and they were close friends, but Harley would have done that for anybody. And Dynamite Kid was taking a lot of stuff, a lot of steroids, a lot of pain pills, so and a, a lot of drinking. 9 o'clock in the morning, 10 o'clock in the morning, he can say he didn't do it, but there's people in the bars around the country that were there at 9 in the morning, saw him. And so, you know, he's gone through his demons now and his problems, and, and I only wish the best for him. I, I wish him good luck.